It's not surprising that a large segment of the healthcare industry has started to move their data warehouse to the cloud. In general, healthcare organizations have really only two viable cloud services model, a platform as a service, also known as PaaS, or a software as a service, also known as a SaaS. Therefore, organizations must assess how one model differs from the other when supporting additional HIPAA compliance requirements for the cloud. Organizations must also decide if they want to develop and manage this functionality or choose a cloud solution that does this for them. First, let's consider the PaaS data warehouse model. On the surface, PaaS is attractive from a security perspective because it is often deployed inside your organization's managed virtual private cloud, or VPC. That's especially useful if your VPC security controls are well-defined, documented, and have been tested and audited by an independent party. However, most infrastructure cloud providers such as AWS often require additional security controls as part of their Business Associate Agreement, or BAA. These controls often go beyond the HIPAA specifications because the AWSs of the world want to reduce their risk. That's why it's imperative that organizations engage their HIPAA privacy officer or legal counsel or both when reviewing any cloud provider's BAA and BAA addendums. To illustrate my point, let's consider encryption. It's generally accepted that organizations must encrypt the transmission of protected health information, or PHI, when going across untrusted networks such as the internet. But with AWS, you must also encrypt all transmission of PHI inside your VPC to satisfy Amazon's BAA. In other words, HIPAA customers must encrypt all network traffic from end to end when transmitting PHI. And what about encrypting data at rest? It's tempting to suggest that your data warehouse is the only source of PHI. Therefore, you would think that by only encrypting your data warehouse, you're able to meet AWS's HIPAA requirements. Yet, you may be overlooking other areas where PHI is stored and therefore violating their BAA. For example, organizations may leverage a central log server inside their VPC to collect application and system events that may also contain PHI data. Under such a scenario, an organization must also encrypt their logs. Now the HIPAA footprint has doubled or even tripled. In addition to encryption, your cloud provider may also require you to run your HIPAA environment on dedicated instances. In AWS, dedicated instances are EC2 systems that run on hardware dedicated to a single customer. Dedicated instances cost more than their shared counterparts and often require a minimum number of monthly reserve units. Again, it's tempting to simply run your data warehouse on dedicated instances and then run the other systems in your VPC on ShareOne. However, just like our previous encryption example, all EC2 systems that transmit or hold PHI data must run on dedicated instances. Fortunately, there are SaaS providers that have already addressed these compliance requirements and have baked them into their offering. What will you prefer? attempting these on your own with all the accompanying headache and additional project costs, or trusting this crucial functionality to a cloud provider committed to protecting your data and the data of thousands of other cloud customers while satisfying all HIPAA requirements. But with security, we have an old saying, trust but verify. Healthcare organizations must ask and collect supporting evidence from their SaaS data warehouse provider to confirm that they are meeting all of these requirements and more. And always remember, most past data warehouses originally started on-premises with cloud as an afterthought. That's vastly different from a data warehouse built entirely in the cloud and for the cloud.